Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining how you can use Macrium Reflect to clone your Windows 11 installation. So let's get right into it. Now, as you can see, I have Macrium Reflect open and there is a couple of options I have here. I can create backups, I can load up a backup, I can browse my local disks and so on and so forth. Now to clone your Windows system, it is pretty easy. All you have to do, as you see here, on my screen, there is a visual representation of my partitions and my disk and the memory that I have a bit available to me. And what you need to do is just locate which of these is your Windows installation. As you can see, in my case, it is disk one, as you can see by the Windows icons that are above or next to the partitions. And this is the one that we want to clone. All you have to do is click on it and it'll just give you an option to clone this disk. As you can see, if I click on any other, it'll give me the option for them, but this will automatically be selected. And all you have to do to clone this disk is just click clone this disk. Now, once you do, this wizard will open and it'll show you another graphical representation of your disk. And now you have to pick your destination disk. You just say select, click, select a disk to clone to, and just choose one of the disks that is connected to your system. In my case, I'll select disk two. And all you have to do is just click finish and it'll start deleting your data from disk two and copying or cloning the data from disk one. As I've said, this does destroy your data. So make sure you back it up if you don't want to destroy it. However, you can also use erase disk or delete partition to delete your data by yourself. It will not delete it instantly. You will need to confirm it. However, that is pretty much what you need to do to actually clone your Windows installation. Then once you click finish and finish everything, the actual process will begin and it'll take some time to clone. However, at the end, you will have your cloned Windows installation and you can pretty much just copy it to another computer or just take that disk and insert it into another computer and you will have pretty much identical copies of your system drive. And that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.